Right. Is Kenya any closer now to developing a HIV vaccine than she was 15 years ago? Well, scientists working on research and development of the vaccine are giving a resounding yes as the world prepares to mark the World AIDS Vaccine Day on Monday. Wilson Boru reports. As the world plans to mark the HIV Vaccine Awareness Day on the 18th of this month, Kenya is celebrating considerable progress in the development of the vaccine, a process that started 15 years ago. But are Kenyans aware of such an endeavor? No, I am not aware. Why? I've never imagined a country like ours would have the capability or resources to go into such kind of research. It's been a long time now, but I'm not sure about the story because I'm not sure about the story. Researchers at the Kenya AIDS Vaccine Initiative, KAVI, currently located at the University of Nairobi's College of Health Sciences, have been working on a vaccine since 1999, led by Professor Omu Anzala, who is the chairman of the Department of Medical Microbiology at the college. Development of vaccines begins with a concept. You begin with a concept, then that concept helps you develop uh, a product. Then you do very extensive testing in animals. Professor Anzala and his team have so far tested three vaccines in Kenya, the most promising of which has gone as far as the clinical testing of its safety on humans, a process which is carried out in phases. So we go through a phase one where we're looking at safety and also try to understand immune response. If phase one is good, then we go through a phase two. And then phase two now we concentrate on the immunology, but also on the dosage and the root of our administration. The most successful vaccine ever developed anywhere in the world was tested in Thailand and produced a 31% success rate. However, this product could not be used in Kenya due to differences in the type of virus found in Asia and in Africa. For a vaccine to be developed, the researchers rely on volunteers to have tests carried out on them. Getting these volunteers is not always an easy ride. Yes, then I can't actually tell Mzuri and I'm going to open it. I'd be very apprehensive about uh, participating actively, Why? putting myself at risk uh, for such a vaccine. They, they, they should start with animals first. You cannot get infected with HIV from the kind of products we are testing. That is out of the question. The government is now being challenged to lead the way in research and development of this vaccine if Kenya is to meet the zero infection, zero deaths target. Let's not leave it to external fund, uh, funders only. Let us also be part of that process. The most important thing to understand now is that we are much closer to eradicating HIV and AIDS in Kenya than we were 15 years ago. Researchers, however, say that more government involvement would hasten this process. Wilson Buru, reporting for KTN at the Kavi Institute of Clinical Research in Nairobi.